I got lucky, it looks like Ultimate Weapon is done running. We're ready for the final conflict. So let's go over the setup that I have changed. Fred is now equipped with the Reflect Ring. This is going to be important. He does need to reflect. Hopefully I will work this out properly. He has one, two, three, four enemy skills on him, along with uh, other stuff that I've been working on. Along with Sheska, who's still working on stuff. Pretty much everything that I'm hoping to level up as we continue on. Spaz is equipped with something that is uh, kind of unique so far but i've mentioned it many times ultima quadra magic let's go for it and other summons that we are looking to go everything else is the same uh let's move on well same as you might expect fred what do you want to do this is what the full-fledged pilot looks like he is all the way leveled up which is like 15 he's not that high up it might be 20 or so either way we are ready to go and fight ultimate weapon one last Time. He hangs out at Cosmo Canyon when he is finally ready to die. Let's see what we can do. And it is boss time yet again. We will whittle him down to nothing today. This is a guarantee. Let's go for four Ultimas. Who are you gonna hit, huh? Of course you would. Of course you would. Get White Wind going. Uh, at least get her back up to, to maximum here. Now I need to do this properly, otherwise this will end up very badly for me. Four Ultimas is going to be enough to whittle down Ultimate Weapon. Once he gets down to under a certain number, I don't want to say exactly what it is until it's over, um, Oh, she can't reach. That's right. Uh, he will... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Down goes Spaz, and then this White Wind is useless. I need her up. This is not a question here. All right. Phoenix down on her. I think that hit her. And then a White Wind on you. A Limit Break is not what I am looking for right now, actually. Uh, what do you have? Do you have any weak ones? Uh, Odin might be good right now. Another Ultima Beam? Are you kidding me? This is not holding back right now. This is not holding back at all. I'm going to risk it. After, after Odin, I'm going to go for a magic breath. I need Fred to deal the final blow here. And I think after this, this will do it. Jessica's limit break will kill him if I need it correctly. If I, well, at least if my math is correct, I should say. 3,500, that is good, but this is better. Ultima Beam again, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Now I'm hoping that it doesn't kill him. I need to do this right. I need to do it right. All right, it doesn't look like it did kill him. Please don't kill her. That is fine, that is fine. Magic breath, go. I just need everybody alive and I need Fred to do this. I need this to work. 3,700 more. I have done it! Yes! He has a final attack of Shadow Flare, which I will reflect! Because if I didn't, it would kill Fred. Look at how much damage that does. Down goes Ultimate Weapon. And we have won, finally! was way too damn close. This, though, is why I needed all that to happen. 35,000 EXP, 3,500 AP. Of course, that is being doubled by everybody. So we do get quite a few levels up, as I'm sure you can imagine. Especially Sheska, who has EXP plus on there. And I think I do have 
a Gil Plus equipped as well. And we get Ultima Weapon. And then goes the ultimate weapon. And he leaves a giant crater when he dies. And he has actually opened up a path. You might have noticed this before. I haven't really talked about this. Uh, you can come here with the chocobo, but I believe that it is more intended for you to come here after you defeat ultimate weapon. You can see there is a path leading up to here now. But we did get something quite valuable there. We got not only very good enemy skill that we didn't have access to before because he's the only person that does it which is why i needed that to work so well for me if i look at magic i believe they will tell me everything that i need to know shadow flare big non-elemental damage on any one opponent it only hits one opponent which is why it had to be fred and he needed that reflect ring otherwise he would have died you saw that it did over 8,700 damage. Fred is not ready to handle that right now. He just can't do it. But with that done, oh no, I almost forgot. How could I forget? We got Ultima Weapon. This is Fred's ultimate weapon. It does have a gimmick just like all the other ones. I will go over those once I do get the last one and I do have all of the numbers in front of me. I'm a huge fan of numbers. Uh, this levels up with his HP though. Uh, he needs as much HP as he can out of his total. The others work the same way. You do want to have the highest HP possible. You want 9999 ideally so that when you get hit, it doesn't really affect your power that much. But it's really just a percentage, if I remember correctly. I will double check that, of course. 100 attack, 110 attack percentage is a damn good weapon. Hell of a lot better than the Buster Sword, which for some reason they won't let us get rid of. Because it's Zack's sword. It's initial equipping. That's why we can't get rid of that this entire game. We could not get rid of Buster Sword because it was Zack's. But with that done, I need to rearrange my party and heal. Speaking of ultimate weapons, we have just one more to find. And it is Soap. So he is with our party now. And we are going to head back home to Cosmo Canyon. Nanaki, it's really bad. Ever since Buganhagen returned from that last trip, he doesn't seem well. Why don't you hurry and see Buganhagen? Buganhagen, now! The old man, he can't die. I told him he shouldn't have brought him to the cold in the north. The Temple of the Ancients was no good for him. It was no good at all. But, but he's going to be okay, right? He knows all the secret healing techniques of the Red Canyon here. He knows everything. He's going to be fine, right, Soap? Grandfather. No, no, Shaska. You stay out of this one. Grandfather! Nanaki, you're still here? I can't believe you like this, Grandfather. It's the duty of my Seto son to guard this canyon and her people. Listen, Nanaki, I think you may already know. If you have any mission in life, it's not to defend this valley. Look at the withering mountain grass. Listen to the warble of the newborn chocobos. Look always to the eternal flow of time, which is far greater than the span of a human life. It will teach you more than staying here in the valley. What you will see will eventually become a part of life's dream. For my children, and for your children. So please, Nanaki. Go with Fred, and with your eyes, your ears. No. Now, now. Don't look like that. I'm alright. It's a wide world, and you must go out and see it. You may even find your life's mate. 
you never know. Grandfather. Oh yes, take this along. I think it will look good on you now. So, is Bougainhagen... Grandpa told me that he's going away again. Away? It seems like he really liked that airship. He told me he couldn't stay still and just zipped out of here. He even gave me a gift. Look, we have received the limited moon. Wait a minute. Aren't you supposed to give gifts after you come back? <laughs> Grandpa sure is strange. So maybe we'll run into him again somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Thanks, Frank. And as a result of Bugenhagen, we have received Soap's ultimate weapon, the Limited Moon. Now, granted, I do have his second best weapon equipped right now, or at least the best one that he had up until this point in my inventory. Uh, so it's not that huge of a difference in terms of just raw attack, but remember that this is his ultimate weapon. That attack percentage going up is a huge difference as well. This one will grow in strength the more MP soap has. Remember, that is a percentage-based system, so... At this point, it would be a hundred percent increase with the limited moon. And that is the final ultimate weapon. I will go over all the different stats and all that kind of stuff on the ultimate weapon when I go over uh, character uh, comparisons when I have everybody max level, to be honest with you. We have just one more place to stop today. Our final destination today is back in Calm. It's been a long time since we have been here. But we still have a lot to do, to be honest with you. We still have enemy skills. We still got a, hu a couple huge enemies to fight. I still have a lot of level grinding to do. There's actually a lot more. I know the bonus videos have been going on for a while, but we got more to do. If we go up the stairs here, we talk to this man here, we can find at least a little bit of guidance as to what we can do. The world's changed a lot in the past few days. That huge monster meteor was covering up the sky and acting like he owned it or something. A lot of my friends have died. I'm going on a journey to pray for their souls. A map that was sunk along with the ship. Guidebook. A rose that blooms once every 1,000 years in the desert. Desert rose. A harp that soothes those who hear it. Earth harp. I wonder if there's anyone who'll bring it to me. Well, I happen to have one of those things, if I remember correctly. I don't know where it's going to be here. But remember that when we were in the underwater reactor, we did fight a ship down there. And I went out of my way to make sure that I was able to morph it. As a result, I do have the guidebook. Map of another world. It slumbers with sunken ships. Oh, it's guidebook. Want to trade it for this underwater materia? How about it? I will trade in need. Okay, then it's a done deal. And off he goes. Can't move right now. While he goes and gets it, apparently I can't even turn around to see where he gets it from. It's underwater materia. Go on. It's yours. And we have received it. Desert Rose and Earth Harp. Will you guys look for them for me? I will. 
and it will be very, very painful. Let's take a look at underwater materia, though. We did go out of our way to get this, and I was lucky that, honestly, that I remembered that the ghost ship was down there. And, and that I need to to deal with that. Ooh, w summon, W item, W magic. I need you as well. This underwater materia, though, it allows you to breathe underwater, and that is it. You might be wondering what that actually means. There is only one purpose to this materia, and one purpose alone. You remember when we fought Emerald Weapon? And we had a 20 minute time limit. This material eliminates that 20 minute time limit. This is something that you only use for one battle. And it is still worth the time to get it. I honestly don't know if you can beat Emerald Weapon without the underwater material. 20 minutes sounds like a long time and it is for one battle in this game. And I'm still not sure it can be done. I'm, well, I'm sure somebody has done it, but I don't know if it's possible to do it using reasonable means, I guess I should say, if you don't exploit the glitch, which I might show off. <laughs> Either way, now that we do have the underwater material, we have an enemy in sight, and that is Emerald Weapon. We still have a couple more things to do before we take him on, but that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my ultimate champions, Fred, Sheska, and Soap. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.